Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. How to lose the holiday weight. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lisa G. Thanks for tuning in. Today's topic is the top five secrets revealed on how to lose the holiday weight and bounce back from the turkey coma. Or for those of you that don't eat turkey, you know what I mean. So let me know where you're tuning in from and share this video because everybody needs to hear this. According to the studies, two thirds of the weight you gain annually is during the holidays. In other words, the weight that you gain isn't spread out throughout the year, but rather it's during the holidays when you tend to gain the most weight. Let me know in the comments if you agree. And it doesn't have to be that way. If you're here in the US, just let me know how was your Thanksgiving? Mine was great. And if not, just let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you're fully recovered from your turkey or whatever you ate coma, and let me know if you guys are tuning in live or catching me on the replay. The good news is you're here and the holiday weight gain doesn't have to be your story. Let's jump in with a big reveal of the top five secrets to losing the holiday weight. With tip number one, don't wait around for the holiday weight to become permanent. Get started now. Your body hasn't gotten used to the extra weight yet. What's one step that you can take today? Let me know in the comments. If you lose it now, it's easier than waiting for New Year's or when you feel ready because you're never going to feel ready. Some of the weight you gained might be water or bloating, so it's just best to get after it right away. Don't wait for New Year's and start Googling how to do a cleanse. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about. That's tip number one. Tip number two is increase hydration. I know I always talk about this, but if you drink a lot of water, you won't feel as hungry. Also, water is important for your metabolism, which is also important for weight loss. And studies found that drinking just 17 extra ounces of water increases your metabolic rate by 30%. After the holidays, you're so ready to be drastic, but instead of trying to drop 10 pounds in a week, take small steps. It'll lead to consistency and being able to hit your goals. Successful people like you know to play for the marathon, not the sprint. Of the weight gain that we put on throughout the holiday season, some of it is bloat because it takes a lot of calories to put on fat. So if you stay hydrated, you can easily flush some of the extra sodium and bloat from your body. Start by increasing your water intake to flush out the extra bloat and calories. That's tip number one and two, which is do it now, hydrate. And tip number three is you can't just resume your regular eating routine and assume you'll be fine because you never worked off the excess. So now... It's the time to eat fewer calories, not your usual amount of food, and alcohol. I don't know about you guys, but I know I had some alcohol on the holidays. It's not business as usual. As usual, That's tip number three. Tip number four is to hit it hard and fast. Fasting is the best way to burn up the extra calories that you've been eating over the holidays. Periods of not eating is the fastest way to burn stored fat and lose the holiday weight. Try intermittent fasting. During your fast, you can burn off some of the extra calories that you consume during the holidays. When you don't eat for 16 hours or at least 
or more and at least hopefully eight hours of that you should be sleeping by the next day you'll start to bounce back and start the day with just coffee and water before noon fasting is tip number four tip number five the last one is don't forget strength training many of you neglect resistance exercises weight training is crucial to prevent muscle and bone loss that occurs with age more muscle mass also elevates your metabolism helping you lose weight maintain joint flexibility and improve endurance if you tried every short-term fix you know that long-term consistency trumps short-term sprints we have one month left can you guys believe it are you ready to finish 2021 strong let me know in the comments and join me to get ripped in 90 days. Don't wait for the new year because the holidays aren't over yet. Now is the time to burn off the weight before your body holds on to it. That was my five tips to lose the holiday weight. You're invited to get ripped in 90 days with me to burn fat now. Message me for the scoop. Lisa G at lisagfit.com. I'm Lisa G reminding you that health is wealth. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Thanks for coming a whole CEO of Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at Lisa G Fit dot com. <laughs>